Hey guys, it's a Saturday afternoon. We are here in our hotel room and are just sitting back, sucking down some coffee. We, we are in the uh, Virginia area, not too far out of D.C. It falls Church, Virginia. Uh, today, we as a family... Been to the D.C. Pen Show. That's right. We did the D.C. Pen Show 2017, and this is kind of our wrap-up. Um, you know, if anybody who watches this video saw a big guy, looks like me, holding a camera like this, uh, walking around, uh, I'll show you what that some of that footage looks like. I was there this morning uh, with my little... Uh, my little GoPro knockoff camera and all I did was I took some video uh, and we just walked around the entire show before we even got started doing some shopping and we got to meet a whole lot of people I literally sat down and wrote a list of the people that I wanted to meet at this show some of which I've met before uh, some of which I've never met before uh, and uh, some people I was kind of hoping would be there but weren't, but maybe, you know, maybe at future pen shows. But we got a chance to meet uh, Brian and Rachel Goulet. I've been helping put the, their children through college, as I told them. Uh, a lot of my uh, pens and inks have come from them. Uh, the Andersons, who uh, I did a lot of business with this weekend uh, with the Andersons. Um, got to see Mike uh, Masuyama. Um, I think that was his last name. I'm, I hope I got it right. So, um, got to see him in action, although I didn't get to spend a lot of time around him. Uh, Mike Madison from Ink Dependence, uh, he, in his YouTube channel, got to see him at the Raleigh show because he's local to us in the Raleigh market. Uh, got to meet David uh, from Fig Boot on Pens. He's also from the Raleigh area. Ron Zorn, got to meet him again. Um, he was uh, with Main Street Pens, does a lot of pen repair, and I took his uh, little class that he had on... Uh, on pen repair uh, in the Raleigh area. Got to see Stephen Brown. Uh, man, he's very popular, very bright uh, colored suit. Remember the guy with a really funny colored suit? Yeah, he had like a um, purple, blue, yeah. and all the rainbow. Yeah, purple, him. blue, green, yellow, and he all that. He dressed up like the rainbow. <laughs> so uh, actually, we got a chance to uh, pose for a picture. And uh, today is only Saturday, so the pen show goes on tomorrow as well. Tomorrow morning, You're it's going to be. Take a Yes, it's going to be over by the time everybody sees this. But uh, I'll be taking a, a, a class on nib smoothing and, and work from the legendary Richard Bender. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, on this uh, pen uh, shopping and, and pen thing, here's the deal. Uh, he just turned eight years old. One of the things he told us that he wanted to do was what? Let's go to a pen show. That's and right. And finally I did. Yep. And so. most of the pins I bought, I got, I got three because I was a kid. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll share some of that, uh, how they're very generous towards children and the next generation of, uh, of pen lovers. So. And they had this uh, pay it, something like... Um, a pay it forward. Yeah, a we'll, pay it forward yeah. table, and I got a three pin. I got to pick one pin that was a... Uh, and we'll, we'll share all that, buddy, here. That just, was, um, dude, we'll no, share a Knox. Right, we'll share all that here in just a little bit. Um, you know, I had a long, long shopping list, and I pared down that list tremendously because what I decided to do is once I heard uh, the Andersons doing their um, uh, their spiel on their uh, YouTube channel, they were going to offer a DC Pen Show pickup option. Now, everything that was on my list, I was going to be shopping for on this trip anyway. So uh, what I did was uh, I went ahead and went shopping on their website so I didn't have to go look all over for it. And I'll share some of that stuff that I picked up uh, as well as stuff along the way because I actually spent um, significantly over my budget <laughs> uh, the amount of money that I wanted to spend. So, uh, Matthew, let's go through some of your pen haul. Okay. Um, let's start well, out. Uh, the well, I love let's these. Go, are my new pens. Let's, let's, start, out, let's start out with. Um, they had the scavenger hunt. Yeah. Here's the deal. Here, scavenger hunt. Um, the uh, the pen collectors of America, you know, uh, pen uh, pens for kids scavenger hunt. So what they did um, they was they had a little brochure, put their initial on it. right? And if they did, um, they uh, initialed everyone, and it had to be different people. So yeah. And if they initialed everyone, I got a pen. So let's share with some of the things I you got. I got a sheafer, and this is the sheafer I got. Yep. It looks nice, doesn't it? He had to go look for things like a vintage Parker 51. He had to find a lever filler pen, a pen case, a limited edition pen. Rubber uh, pen sacks. Rubber pen sacks, which actually I have some of those. Yeah. Inkwell, bottle of ink, 
calligraphy pin, calligraphy writing, dip pin. Right, so once you found all those, plus on the back, uh, they had a little thing for pen repair person. So uh, and we found. Signed that. So we had two different guys that do that, including Ron Zorn. So he uh, turned that in, and they gave him his choice of pens, and he picked and up that Schaefer. It looks. Like it a, looks nice. It looks like a no nonsense. It's it's very similar to the no nonsense. I but, have this. But instead of calligraphy nibs. One. That's exactly like it. But this looks has got a better. Exactly this has got better nibs, nibs to it though. This is a nice medium nib that goes with it. Not italic. I do not like italic nibs. <laughs> I don't blame my, you. I know my other pen that looks exactly like this, just a different color. Well, and they gave him a packet of um, uh, of cartridges <laughs> to go along with it, which was really cool because. I had actually purchased uh, while there um, another Schaefer, and I didn't have any uh, cartridges for it, so I, I got a chance to uh, steal one of his ink cartridges. Uh, let, next, let's go with your. Uh, let's go talk about um, okay, the well, pay it forward. Okay, so the pay it forward. I got to pick a pin out, and this is the pin I picked. They had all kinds of pins, like a General 599, General 886. Um, yeah, well, yeah. They, they, had, uh, they had 992s. They had, uh, they had all sorts of Gen Hells, yep. except and, this is not a Gen and Knox. Here's, the deal. Here, here's how the pay it forward thing works. People donate pens and supplies to be able to give away for, for children, um, specifically geared towards kids. And what they'll do is they'll give away a box yeah, that like looks this. just like this. And then you open it later, and uh, right. this is what you'll get in it. So you'll get uh, You'll have uh, some paperwork in there. Yeah, you'll have the Washington DC's, Washington DC's pin shows. First, pay it forward. Right. Pay so, it forward. Okay, well, check this out. They also gave him a, a three, three pack of field notes, which is pretty awesome. And so, a I mean, bookmark. I did not get this. They had those on the table. In this. And it looks nice. It has that little fountain pin right there. Now, here's they have in that particular box, they've they got had a, a Pelican Pelicano Jr. So we finally got this one inked up and, and working, and it actually writes fairly nicely. So he now has in his collection. It's an interesting name. A pelicano. I can barely say it. Every time I say it, I have to think of Pelican. Exactly, because it's made by Pelican. Pelican. Um, this Knox pen. Uh, let me tell you about these Knox pens. Um, there are Knox pens for sale right now. Um, there, there's a one particular um, seller that I know sells some of these online. And the new I Knox not pens... Buy that. I got right. it in the pay, pay right. it for the So review. not only did they not only did they give him that box, they gave him this Knox pen that go new Knox pens are I going for I can pick any pen that was on like um they had this little um thing that um had um like a wooden wooden um wooden shelves and they had a pin on each shelf. Right. Like, so um, so they let him about at least three and there are um, several pins. I could pick any pin. Yeah, so in, a, in addition to getting this. this box, they gave him that Knox pen. They go for about $15, $15 or so. If you want to buy one you, on eBay, about $15. Well, not on eBay. Actually, um, you know, Birmingham, pins? Birmingham pens had them for uh, 15 So we'll put we'll put the ones that we've already shown oh, back in a box. That's a Pilot Kikuno. It does right. No, it's a Pelican, nice. Pelicano. But they not only did they give him a three-pack of field notes, they gave him another... Field notes packet. Um, let's see. Somebody at one table we went to gave, me a ball gave him a ballpoint. It's a nice writing little ballpoint. It's ball for point. school. I'm right. about to start said, school sometime in about a 20 some days. And that's what I got. I'm going into third grade. That's what he gave me for school. And you with your own money. About that. It's $25. As you can see on the back, it says 25 But the guy wanted just 20 And even at that may have been a little uh, high. It was a junior discount. <laughs> but He's a senior. I'm a junior. So he got a, he got a Schaefer student pen. Uh, even at 20 nice. bucks, it's probably a little overpriced. But the thing is, he saw it. He liked it. He wanted it. He bought it with his own money. I know. I asked Mama. I know, like, um, I saw this on the table. They had this other pin that was a Schaefer, and I like this one better. It was just laying there down on the table, facing, like, up like that. Yep. And I bought it. I kind of liked it. It was, uh, um, a goldish color. I kind of liked it. Yeah. So, I was like, here. 
I gave him twenty dollars. Now I have this in my collection. Yes, and Mr. Moneybags over here. I tell you what, he was mighty cheap. We there was one particular um, place that we went to. They had some nice pens, and this guy hand crafts his pens. It was like um three dollars. No, we haven't. No, we haven't gotten to that yet. But the, this place we went to, the, for about $60 or so, he wanted to buy his own pen. He kept pestering us. Can we go back? Can we go back? Can we go? So we went to this place, and uh, he didn't want to... I found this really nice well, pen. You didn't want to stand in line, was the problem. This no, really, I did. But then you decided you didn't want to spend the money. I know, because I... We um, went there twice. Twice to this place. I know, because I... We haven't been all over, but... We had Well, at first we hadn't, but then we went back... I know, because I found this really other nice pin that costed $75. It was a ballpoint. I wanted to it buy that. It turned out to be a ballpoint, right. I know. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a fountain pin, but it was very good looking. It was um, a kind of a marble blue. Right. Well, anyway, Mr. Moneybags over here went out. Had $120, bought one pin. Yeah, he went out. Which was this, then turned out with 95 He went El Cheapo and decided not to spend his money and wanted us to buy instead. All right, next one. His mom discovered a table where they were selling yeah, these my European. My mom bought them these pins. They're my European mom student them. pens. And uh, they're, get this, $4 a piece, I think, or 3 for. Yeah, it was 3 for 10 3 for 10 bucks. So she got. Uh, so three of those, so we ink okay. that up and And this is mine. Uh he inked it up. And once I it got think inked it up. Came with the cartridge, didn't yeah, they? they all came with a cartridge. Oh, and once okay. we got it once we got them inked up, uh, they did okay. I know. He just inked this one up, tried writing with it. Oh my gosh, it it wrote so bad. But then just let it sit out for a while, started writing with it, it wrote very my coffee's much getting cold. better. <laughs> it wrote yeah. very much better. Alright, so I borrowed one of his cartridges. That's the old school pin. I was gonna buy it. Yeah, but, no, he but there was a guy who was selling these uh, little Schaefer student pens. And I've got uh, two of them at home already, but that's very cheap. he wanted five bucks. Um, I said, no, I'm not going to buy it. I don't want to waste any of my money. So I went ahead. For five bucks, I, I did that, and I robbed one of the cartridges that he got from his uh, Schaefer from his giveaway. So, um, All right, what are some of the other things that I got? Um, my pen haul. All right. Here's, uh, yeah, I'm getting there, buddy. I got I got a list, and I'm going to go down my list. He got very too hey, nice. Just chill. I got my list. All right. Here's what I did. Um, for me, um, I went ahead and placed my order online prior to the show, knowing I could pick it up there. And I, like I said, I had a nice long shopping list. And I decided that I wanted to uh, pick them up there. I was going to get them there anyway, okay? Uh, so it's not like I wasn't going to uh, go shopping at the pen show for my own stuff. Um, he bought three pins. Yeah, well, uh, well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we show Mommy's pen that she bought? Yeah, it now, was a month of her. Guys, spoil your women, all right? My wife has a bunch of pens. She hasn't paid for a single one of them. I bought them all for her so far. Well, she bought her very own pen. She bought a month of Verde. With her own money. Yep. He didn't buy it for him. So she, she decided to pick her own, and, and she was operating on a budget less than he was. Yeah. But she bought this one. It's a nice little uh, jewelry. Yeah, I like I the think design of it. Executive, a jewelry executive burgundy she grid like pen. This other pen. I literally had one of these on my eBay watch list for a long time, and I decided I wasn't going to bother getting it. Um, so she went ahead and bought her own, and that's her. That was her purchase, and she got that from folks uh -huh, from found about, uh, from sixty some dollars. Yeah, uh, no, it was like forty bucks. He so. bought one too. Yeah, no, no, I didn't. Um, oh, just, wait, just I really, you did. dude, relax. We're getting there. Oh, okay. Um, so uh, one of the things that you're not going to find generally is at, a lot of ink. You're not well. You're going to find plenty of inks, which you're yeah, not going to, um, but you're not going to find ink samples. So that's the one thing too that pushed me into getting these. Now I got a bunch of ink samples at home, he bought and I bought other inks that were one, not samples. You well, know he likes them. We're getting there. Um, I bought a, a lot of ink samples in the past from the Goulet's uh, Goulet Pen Company, and one of the things is when you're looking for different inks, um, there are inks I can get here that I can't uh, from the Andersons in samples that I can't get from the Goulet's because they don't carry those same brands. So I wanted to sample some different brands. And so, for instance, Mont Blanc inks, um, Ackermann's. Um, Ackermann sounds like an interesting name. It is. Um, have a I got some Ackerman's Ackerman in here, Private Reserve. Um, so uh, ones that I hadn't already purchased in the past. 
Um, I've got an ink sample, so I got uh, like about two bags. Well, uh, actually, three uh, he like this. Three, four, nine, right. seven. Uh, Papier, Papier Plume. It's another brand you um, that, that the Goulets don't carry, but the Andersons do. So um, great people, uh, both companies. I've done a lot of business with them both. I'm I'm quite happy. But so I got all those now. I was going to buy a, a converter for my cross pen anyway, so I picked that up. Um, I was going to get some polishing compounds uh, for working on pens. Color rings, you may have seen these. Um, well, I was going to get some of these anyway, so I got a couple packs of those. On my shopping list uh, was going to be, um, I love, and I think everybody in my family does, uh, noodlers. Um, Bay State Concord Grape. Fantastic Wait, ink. I haven't tried that. Yes, you have. Uh, it's t t You may not remember it, but you have. And it's tough to clean, just like Bay State Blue. Yeah, but Bay I State Concord Grape thing. works really, really well. I got in my shape. It's a thing. very pretty ink. So I went ahead and, and picked up some of that. Um, these are nothing more than... Um, uh, basically, they're test tube holders. Ooh. But they hold some of my ink samples, and I got a bunch of those. So let me set these down here. Um, ink samples, Private Reserve. I was able to pick up some uh, blue inks from Private Reserve. So some Lake Placid Blue, Naples Blue, Midnight Daphne. Blue, Daphne Blue. I, yeah. I wanted Daphne Blue in all ink. At first I could not pronounce the name. I was like Daphne, Daphne, like uh, all that stuff. But yeah, and I don't, again, in case you guys are seeing my um, picture dark and enlightened, it must be the camera. I don't know why, but it's doing it. Um, a a three-pack sampler of Arosha Zuku from Pilot. Arosha uh, Zuku did look nice. Yeah, they got so so three different inks there, um, and that pretty much did it for my uh, my Anderson uh, purchase, with the one exception. I already had on my list, and I was going to find at the show, and I did see them around the show, but I was going to get Monteverde. another Monteverde. Now I've I got, kind of wanted one. I found this one on eBay, sixty-eight dollars. I was wondering if I could find one for that price at the pin show. Well, we didn't find the the exact model that you were looking for, but since they came out, I wanted a giant sequoia. So, How much do they cost? Um, well, it depends on from whom you bought them, but retail average is about the seventy. The guy you bought him. Seventy-six dollars was the average retail, I maybe and I've seen that. I've I've seen these go um, as cheap as sixty-eight on the on the internet, depending upon from whom you bought them. So I bought that, and I'm not going to do a full review, but just let you know, this was on my want list, my short list, because it was very affordable. I thought uh, at uh, about seventy-six bucks, so I picked that up. There was a guy, the same guy who I think sold me that Schaefer student pen was getting rid of some inks. Now, one of the things I like about ink samples, you try it, if you like it, you buy a bottle. Yeah, so, um, like, uh, Kunpeki, he put that in my Esther Vic J, I liked it, so he bought a bottle. Right, so, I got a full... I got the last of it in mine. Right, so the sample, he, he got bottle. the last of it, so I went and bought a bottle. Well, here are two Diamine inks that I tried samples of that I really liked. The Imperial Blue and, and the Presidential Blue. Blue. I really like these. Now, the especially the Imperial Blue, Did to me... Did you in Presidential Blue on one of my pins? Uh, I think we put Presidential... Well, I don't know about yours, but I did put one of each in two of the major purchases that I, I got. I think it was today. in this pin right here. No, you, that was a cartridge. Oh. All right, now... Uh, here we're getting to, um, oh yeah, what else did I get? Some ink sacks, so those yeah. are around here yeah, too. Ink oh yeah, ink sacks. Yeah, I had to look for them in the scavenger hunt. This guy showed me what a, Ron um, Zorn a broken one was. He put that in my hand. Mm -hmm. Then he told me to put that on the desk, and then he showed me this. And uh, he just put that in um, the notebook. He just put his initial on it, and then... Um, I was about done with it. I only had to look for about two more things, then I was done. And boom, I got a pin. A couple of pins that have been on my wish list for a while. I've been bidding on some on eBay. One of the things about One eBay is, really is nice. you never know How what you pen never pen. know what kind of condition they're really going to be in, or if they need restoration. And if you buy one for like fifty dollars and it doesn't write, that would be just a waste of money. But 
for a decent price, what I thought is I found a Parker Vacuumatic. That really writes nice. Me and Mama tried it, it writes really nice. Yep. So I think I put the, the Imperial Blue in this one. And it is a very nice, as a matter of fact, all the quick notes that I scribbled on a notepad. All of us liked it. This is a very nice writing pen. Like that pen. Um, I haven't uh, gone over, uh, I'll review it some other time. I'm not going to get deep into it. You can tell that I've got you know, inky fingers from doing up all of our pens. All right, now. We fixed all of them. The other, the, the last one, the big purchase. It um, is a mod. Yeah, I got a Mont Blanc 149. I found a good deal on this. I found a guy who had a bunch of I think Larry fully, had one. Uh, yes, Larry. Uh, yeah. He has Larry's, one. But YouTube that's YouTube channel. Yes. Larry's fountain pens. Right. So uh, he just he recently that got that up, one. and uh, he has a Mont Blanc 149. He's in love with it. Yep, that he, he is. Looks nice. So Mike's pens out of uh, New York. So I dealt with Mike today, um, and. Uh, he, I've got his card right here. Um, he sells a lot of reconditioned pens, and um, he's out of Plainsview, New York. Mike Bloom. So I was able to get that from him today. Uh, got a bargain on that. He, I was looking at a 146 and a 149 all day long. I've been looking uh, for a good deal on a Visconti Homo Sapiens while I was walking around. Um, I did not expect to walk out with a 149 today. Uh, just this morning, very early this morning, I was outbid on eBay on a 146, uh, and, and I just let it go because uh, I said I'm going to be at the pet show. What the heck? I may be able to find some, and I found some decent deals on a 146. Comparing the Mont Blanc 149 next to the the Parker Vacuumatic, I think the Parker Vacuumatic writes better than the Mont Blanc 149. So, why? so uh, at least that's as it as I've I purchased like them. Three. So I've got a medium nib uh, on them both. But uh, they both write well. I actually think the Parker did a better job uh, than the Mont Blanc. So, anyway, um, I'm going back tomorrow. Like I said, we've uh, I've got a uh, nib smoothing workshop and with we're Richard Bender. Going back to Selma tomorrow. And then we go back home uh, once all that's and done. I do not want to. Yeah, that's one of the things. I mean, we're this hotel is really nice. There are people uh, who um, who really love pen shows and they make it an all day, several day kind show. of thing. Uh, this was his first pen show. And um, I liked it. I uh, bought um, one pin, and the rest I got free. Yeah, he, he made out like a bandit today. He got all kinds of stuff no, just given to him free. This is the only one I bought. The rest I sh we showed y'all, I got free. He got five freebies today from other people. So It says $25, but I got a junior discount. Only $5 off. And it costs 20 so now I only have... Yep. A lot of money left. All right, little Mr. Redundancy. Um, anyway, uh, so that was our, our uh, DC Pen Show haul. Um, Those and are only the pens we bought from DC, none from home. Right, all these were ones that we picked up while here. And yes, I do count the we ones that I everything. ordered um, as part of my Pen Show haul because I was going to get them here anyway. Anyway, uh, that's it. And, um, we're, that kind of wraps up your video. Yeah, that, this was just a recap of our pen haul that we managed to get from the DC Pen Show. Got more than we did when we went to the Raleigh Show uh, several months ago. We didn't bring him. It was just me and the wife. And I was not expecting to get that much pens. I was only at least get two, maybe even one. I yep. was only expecting to get one. And he was two. complaining that his feet hurt. Then he I was know, because I was hungry. walking. I was walking. My legs started hurting. My feet did, too. Yeah, so if you go to a pen show, a couple things. Number one, uh, take your time. Look around. You may see uh, a pen. And, and don't then real. Well, another thing, don't don't buy the first thing you see that you fall in love with. because then you may find other pins that you like. Do you, do you know how many better. vendors were selling these? <laughs> Parker Vacuum Addicts? Do you know how many sellers were selling Mont Blanc 149s? Um, it, you know, you get know your prices. Put it this way. I bought this for 100 bucks cheaper uh, than other sellers were, and I got this significantly less expensive than some others were. So when you go to a pen show, um, take your time. Walk around, bring some. The first thing you see. Bring a bottle of water with you. you. May get thirsty. Bring a backpack. Expect there to be a lot of people. Bring wall snacks. to wall people, and we brought some snacks, some granola bars, and and, and crackers. And some, uh, like a cracker cheese and cheese. and crackers for him, and so uh, you're gonna get. I you're, love them. You're gonna get. And you're gonna get uh, cranky and and hungry because you're not you you're not yourself when you're hungry. So uh, you know, bring something like that. Bring a backpack or a bag. I mean, they gave us. Matter of fact, if you give me give me that black bag down there, 
Um, I'll show you. These as soon as we walked in. Each of the, each pen show I've been to so far, the the Raleigh one, um, and the DC one, they throw these uh, nice duffel that, bags. That are Conklin. So we we managed to get those. So anyway, um, too, you can, we needed them. Yeah, we did. So was about four. three of us, three backpacks uh, between my video equipment and mine, uh, some of the snacks being carried in his, and my wife and her uh, stuff she took out of her pocketbook oh, and hers. Oh, he's getting sleepy still. Um, yeah, because we got up a little early and he was a little tired. I so know, I was expecting but, to and, like stay in till ten. You get look. You get the chance to go to a pen show, enjoy it. I thought um, it was in the middle of the night when I woke up. So go if you go to a pen show, go enjoy yourself, walk around quite a bit. Hey, that, that's it from Saturday afternoon after the DC pen show for and today. We have to go home. We spent tomorrow. what? Yeah, after spending well five plus hours walking around the place and went something to eat, got something to eat, yeah. and came back we to the hotel. We had this and really great restaurant called uh, Pizzeria and Lose. Yeah, it was Uno's Pizzeria. Had steaks, burgers, salad, <laughs> pasta. All right, but we're not doing restaurant reviews. Catch you later. Thanks. Bye. Bye.